As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out but only to tell him the truth. But she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named Gram.
its name is Gramr. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gramr by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shard. Go to the shards. What's the shard? Find it. It's the metal rune stones. It's in front of you. Find it. The metal rooms. You need that sword. Go to the shard. Find the shards. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial Mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She is a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving.
I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Wait there. I'll find you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she find him? Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. You're getting closer. Keep going. Send him to follow the voice. You're nearly there. <gasps> Dillian's voice. It's him. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another think, way. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Use your mind. Wait for him. He's disappeared. You Look, need to I'm slip through your fingers once again. again. Think. Think clearly. You have to recognize it. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. You know where you are. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. Listen, Dillian. Where Listen are you? It's not him. <gasps> it's not him. We told you. We told you it was a trick.
This doesn't sound like Dillian anymore. What's happening? It's not him, it can't be. What's that sound? The voice is changing. What? <gasps> That's not Dillian. That doesn't sound like Dillian. It sounds like... Herver so ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance. But her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. It's not Dillian. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot, 
growing inside you! No! They will turn their back on you! The gods can only fix you through my hand! You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods! Come, child, take my hand. Come, send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! It's done. You did it, but there's more. Keep going. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's more to do. It's not going to be easy.